Okay guys, today's a big day. We're gonna go on a field trip, grab some guns, hit some steel, and have a good time. I was thinking maybe that shy tech, an H card, a 6.5 Creedmoor. We can take the 338. I mean, there's a plethora of guns we can take. 408, 300 blackout. This is the ammo for the range normally. So, rifle ammo here, pistol ammo here. All right, I think you got enough, bro. But we do need eyes and ears. Okay, let's go grab them. We need ammo, more ammo too. Okay, eyes and ears. That is new, just got that. And this came in last week. My new cabinet of the month, the Hummingbird. Pretty nice gun, all hand engraved. The Mammoth Molar grips. I didn't even know they had Mammoth Molars. So, pretty sick. How much that thing cost? Uh, this one, I think was, sh shit. Could have been 10,000. All right, how we feeling, Matt? Feeling good. So when you buy something, you make it all about the wife, that way you can option the shit out of it, and she'll think it's all about her. Trying to work comfy guys. for her. Yeah, make it comfy for her. So, it works out, guys. Do it. Don't eat too much, because all that we're going is an outhouse. <laughs> you don't want to get any poop spiders in your butt. I don't even know how to respond to that. I'm sure you don't. I don't want to be in there. No, you're fine. <laughs> how, was, how was breakfast? It was good. Real good. Hang on. Hang on. I'm not moving. Hang on. Hey, I'm not done yet. Wow. Change. I'm not kidding. Wow. <laughs> Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> Should we go shoot some guns? Yes. That sugar sweet. You got what I need. That fence line there, we own all that all the way to there. And out there, you see where the cattle's at moving. We own all the way out to there. Welcome, guys. I just closed on a thousand acre ranch yesterday. We spent about two million dollars on it. We're gonna build this into our own private outdoor range. We'll be building a mile long range, skeet, bow. We could do anything we want. We could shoot a damn cannon out here if we want. Welcome to the ranch, everybody. The Caliber Ranch. When we bought this place, the cabin was already here. That was part of the deal. It's a hunter's cabin, so it's all solar powered. We had to bring the water up, but we are gonna be drilling for a well here soon so we can build a nice barn. We're thinking about doing a one story house the wraparound porch, stuff like that. Just a little getaway. Get my cash right, cause I spent it all last night. Said I'm good to go, only if the bag right. Hit it then you know I gotta do the dash right. Told her how I'm living, welcome to the fast life. Get my cash right, cause I spent it all last night. Said I'm good to go, only if the bag right. Hit it then you know I gotta do the dash right. Told her how I'm living, welcome to the fast life. I had to buy something that would get around better ride better probably than my truck and smaller preferably so i went to the dealership and they told me it was going to take a year to get one so i said what's the one on your showroom floor and i said i'll take that i spent fifty four thousand dollars on a side by side i don't know much about it i just wanted it let's go for a spin <laughs> touched for thousands and thousands of years. No farm equipment, no nothing. All there has been on that cows and animals. Fine. Okay. 
You're the bone collector, bro. Bone collector, yeah. That's what you're gonna name me now. This would be a good place for pop-ups. You could put them around the pop-ups, around corners, go around, do a tactical type shooting. If you want to do endless. We could do anything we want out here. What we got, Matt? We're about in the middle of the thousand acres. We got two wells. Both of them solar. I think they're about four or five hundred feet down. And this is gonna be for the cattle that we're gonna get eventually. Hit the rangefinder to the forest for the trees over there is about a mile. To that, our water tanker over there is just over a mile. So we'll be building targets, shooting from the trees, coming into here, into this small hill. We'll dig it out, put a nice big metal target, probably a four by eight target up. And then probably where that hill is, is probably where we'll do the um, uh, skeet range. Every time I turn these on, the antelope come and play. So I gotta put some trail cans up at night and see what actually comes up to this water. It's a big spinal cord. Big cow. Okay guys, we just toured the entire property. There's so many possibilities, it's ridiculous what we're gonna do. I mean, it's gonna take us probably a good year, but please be patient. Right now, we're gonna shoot the Nemo in 300 Wind Mag. I'm shooting these reco low recoil rounds. So I'm not sure how the gun's gonna cycle. We'll find out. But I got some targets set up about 200 yards down range. Uh, on the Nemo, I've got a Surefire can with a Schmidt and Bender scope. So let's find out how the gun does. Ready? Ready. Yeah. All right, stand by on this one. And when you're ready, hit. So we're about ready to shoot the uh, H car, heavy caliber assault rifle based off the BAR. So we're going to shoot this at a couple hundred yards. Anyway, I know it's sighted in my range, but I never shot it outdoors. So we're gonna try some AP rounds at the steel and see what happens. Hit. I think I broke it. <laughs> I don't see the black anymore in the target. Look at the AP rounds, dude. Oh my. Hang on. Yep. <laughs> AP round got it dead on. Get my cash right, cause I spent it all last night. Said I'm good to go, only if the bag right. The rain's about ready to come in, the wind's picking up quite a bit. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're gonna come back tomorrow and do some more. Thanks, guys. Take care.